Good afternoon, St. Catherine School. God is good all the time. Thank you very much for being here, and I would like to welcome you as we begin this new academic year. I know you have been going through a lot since the last time some of you, you were in the building. And now, also as we continue with our school, those in, in the building, and also those in virtual. I'd like you to encourage you as you begin this new year to take all the precautions that you've been asked to do. And um, also like to welcome the new families in our parish. And thank you very much for choosing our parish and, um, and our school. I know you had so many choices to make, but you picked our school. I'd also like to welcome all the teachers who have joined us this year, thank you very much for taking the chance to be with us to educate our children. And I would like how we begin with a prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our loving Father, we give you thanks for the gift for life, for the gift of these students that you've given us to pass the education to them, for the gift of, the, of their parents, their guardians, and also for the gift of our teachers. As we begin this New academic year, we ask for your blessings to keep everybody safe, those in the building, in person, and also those studying virtually back at home. We ask you, Lord, to help us, each one of us, to do our part. And we do make our prayer through Christ our Lord. I would ask you now to be attentive to the Bible reading, and it's a letter from St. Paul. To the Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 6 to 12 and verse 16 and I read my dear friends in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I beg you not to have anything to do with any of you people who idle around and refuse to obey the instruction we gave you you surely know that you should follow our example we did not waste our time idling, and we did not accept food from anyone without paying it. We did not want to be a burden to any of you. So night and day, we worked as hard as we could. We had the right not to work, but we wanted to set an example for you. We also gave you the rule that if you do not work, you do not eat. Now we learn that some of you are just idling around and won't do any work, except the work of a busybody. So, for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ, we ask and beg these people to settle down and start working for a living. I pray that the Lord who gives peace will keep blessing you with peace no matter where you are, may the Lord be with all of you. The word of the Lord. God is good all the time. What a reading to hear as we begin this academic new year. With all what we are going through right now with this pandemic, but the Lord is still with us, is still protecting us. Think about all those six months you were back at home, you went, the spring semester ended when we were just back at home, and you're still healthy. The Lord has been protecting you and your family. Today we have been reminded to play our part, to be busy, to be doing our homework, to be listening to our teachers, our parents. When you think about your parents, they work so hard day and night so that they can be able to provide to you with all the needs that you want or you need. The shelter, having a house, having food, having clothes. When you're sick, they're able to take care of you. Think about all that. They are doing their part. When you come to school and also those virtual, the teachers are working so hard day and night to see that you get everything that you need during the day. 
and keeping you safe. Also, on my part as a priest in this parish, in this school, I'm also doing my part. So the ball is on your court also. And St. Paul, in the reading that I've read, is telling us, don't be idle. And mostly those who are virtual back at home, sometimes it can be so hard and so many distractions. But remember always to tune and to be connected with the Zoom, with your class, with your teachers. Because everything that your teachers are doing, your parents and myself, we are preparing you for a better future. We want you to be successful in life. And whatever dreams you have, you have to work for those dreams so that you can be able to get the results. So it's my prayer as we begin this new year. The Lord help you to do your part, to study, to do your homework, and everything that you've been asked. It is a challenging time, but if you're told you, play, you do your part, your parents do their parts, your teachers, and I do my part, at the end of the day, all of us, we are going to succeed. And that's the goal. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the gift of our life, for the gift of this day, and for the beginning of this new school year. I ask for the blessing for all the students, their parents, their guardians. Keep them safe wherever they are. And all those who are celebrating their birthday as they begin a new year this week, bless them and keep them safe. And the blessing for Almighty God come upon them all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.